Hello recorders, sorry that I'm late in delivering you know, my opinion of this upcoming news that we're getting a Power Rangers reboot film and this film will feature time travel and it will take place in the 90s which thank you. Anyway, a couple of days ago, the Hollywood Reporter announced that they're planning to do uh, Hasbro and Par Paramount are looking to do a Power Rangers reboot. Like, yeah, they're not doing a sequel to the 2017 film, which I, you know, kind of did want to see what they were going to do next with that film, especially with introducing Tommy, like how they're going to handle that. And it's like, oh, well, and of these plans for this reboot, they're bringing in the the creator of Netflix's The End of the Effing World is director Jonathan Ayer. I can't pronounce his last name. He's in early negotiations to direct this film, but Hasbro, if you need someone else to direct this film, come on, I can make an awesome Power Rangers film. Even though I, I you know, have no experience directing, you know, with special effects or anything with a budget of more than a thousand dollars or even a budget. <laughs> But still, it's like, I want to direct the film, or at least write it. I mean, I have years of, sc I have six years of screenwriting experience. And of course, this project's being penned by s the screenwriter who did the Peter Rabbit, Peter Rabbit or something like that film, like the second one, but. And a variety of the Rangers have been expressing their opinions about this film, like Jason David Frank, and you know, he's among the few that's saying that, can we have cameos in this? Like. And all the Power Ranger panels I've been going to at cons, most of the uh, at Illumini, like Karen Ashley said that the 2017 film would have been a bit better if they had cameos of the original cast. You know, something to get the fans excited, not just the cameos from JDF and Amy Jo Johnson. And it's like, they should have done a little bit more better with that, guys. <laughs> As for this film, I do like the concept that maybe what if it does take place in the 90s and then time travel is put in or maybe something, maybe a time force could be involved or maybe like, uh, you know, preventing, say, what if the Power Rangers were never existed? Like, who knows if this film will be in continuity with the series or not? And that, yeah, this project should include like, uh, maybe the original cast involvement. Maybe, I don't know, they could use Lord Draken for this, seeing as he travels in two dimensions. And, uh, and you know, something, and of course, Hasbro actually does listen to the fans. And if Hasbro, if you come across this, l listen to me. I want to be the Kevin Feige of Power Rangers Cinematic Universe or something like that, guys. Maybe more details about this reboot film will probably be announced at Power Morphicon next year in uh, September. It's just about nine months from now. And, you know, I'm excited to return to Power Morphicon after my success at Ranger Stop and Power Morphicon Express. It's like... I could possibly be a, an official guest for Power Morphicon. I mean, they let Andre the Black Nerd, I mean, Chris Katana, No Pink Spandex, M M MPR Toys. It's like, include me. <laughs> and I'll do this. Yeah, I'm excited for this kind of reboot. I mean, this film won't be released until like at least 2021 or 2022. Like, I'll be almost 30 years old, guys. <laughs> almost 30 years old. And all doing this, let's, uh, you know, I'm glad that the power is being protected. And who knows, maybe this film, it's not sure if it's going to be live action or yet. But yeah, but seeing as they're getting a director, this will probably be live action, not like, say, an animated film or CGI film. I mean, have we ever seen CGI Power Ranger film? I don't know, guys. And, uh, you know, this film, it's like, hopefully they bring in, like, another fresher cast. Like, maybe not the same characters from Mighty Morphin or maybe... These new rangers actually travel and they interact with the Mighty Morphin like their characters like in the 90s. And that would be very nice, guys. And, you know, it would be nice to see a nice 90s homage film. And, uh, well, we have to wait and see, guys. And, of course, you know, we won't be getting, like, any more news, like, until next year. So let's be patient. And, well, like I always say, guys, may the power protect you all.